number four of Lightspeed Quiz 216. I thought we well, forgot where I was for a moment. We've got a couple of rookies here who I'll introduce to you in a minute. We're back at the Sun at Stockton Pong or Stockton on Tees. People usually pick me up on this kind of on, stuff. On. And you will notice that some people here have lost their way from the duathlon which was going on and they've ended up in here by accident. But nevertheless, there'll be a few quiz players running around uh, uh, the River Tees looking for the Sun pub. Uh, there are exactly 12 of us today and I think if I can I'll kind of try and introduce a few people. I'm going to start on my uh, left hand side here with Ashton, oh, come on. the furthest person to come today uh, and he's broken away from his family and he's left his questions at home but he's getting them sent back eventually. Will I get some more music? Devs! In the car from Halifax, we've seen here before, and you were a champion of something a few weeks ago, weren't you? You were some money anyway. And then I had to give it back. Yeah. This man was so good on University Challenge, did he give a nice warm welcome to Tony Richardson? <laughs> to not welcome our 2015... Uh, oh, this is Mark Laycock, who's currently in the lead on the Buzzer of the Year competition, yeah, but he's not coming to Wales, so... He, He's going to be in trouble when I get down there. Um, I've got the about. wrong music there, but I'm going to put my music on for Michael. Michael, he's our 2015 champion. So give him a round of applause. Come on, we have to go. Our top seeded player is Mr. Clive Dunning, Mastermind Champion 2014, setting the standard for everybody. Uh, he's got a t-shirt reminding of Ernest Hemingway next time he's especially subject. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Steve Rose, we're back. I'm a bastard, it's grim up north. <laughs> uh, and it, watch out for his little questions with stings in the tail. He had a couple last time we've got them this time. Let me have a look who's next. Uh, it is Tony Walmsley, who I don't know how he keeps his handicap down as far as he does. But he's going to be up today. He has never lost a specialist round and is in for the music today later on. We'll have a look at that. Mark, uh, we've got Chris B. This is for you, mate. He's our, one of our other local representatives. Good luck today, mate. We want you going in early and beating everybody to the buzzer. Steve uh, Rhodes. We've had, when we spoke to you, yes, we have. So, uh, who's next? Uh, Mark Preston. We've got the very, very worst tune of anybody here. Let's have a listen. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, Norman, Norman and Wilson. I've not got a tune for him at all, so I'll just put whatever crops up. Uh, give what Norman a nice round of applause. Uh, the Force Awakens. It's me, Steve Kidd. I'll be asking the questions first. Good luck, everybody. You know the rules. It's two points for a correct answer. It's one away for a correct, incorrect interruption. Uh, once the question's finished, you don't lose anything. So, let's get ready to rumble. Uh, who's going to win this today? Off the handicaps, off the net? <sighs> Can't pick them. Anyway, uh, if Ashton hadn't been here or Tony had been here, I'd have picked one of those two, but together I think they're going to take points of each other. Good luck everybody. Not here. Davos Suka, Paul Laurie, Vern Troyer, and all horses born in the Northern Hemisphere. <coughs> Michael. January the 1st. Is correct. Uh, in what year, I do want to hear, did the following people die? Dave Niven, Jack Dempsey, Tennessee Williams and Anthony Blunt. You can have a free guess. Rose. 2004. Uh, no, Walmsley. 92. No. Uh, Chris. 97. Michael. 1981. Preston. 1980. Ashton. 83. Did you see that? No. <laughs> He's correct. Give him a little round of applause for him because that's how we get there. Ashton Davis. Bing bing, two points. Next one. What was the surname of Captain Alan Alexander of the Home Guard who went on to write Ashton Mill? Alan Alexander Mill who went on to write his last fiction novel, Chloe Mine in 1946. I was looking at you there, Clive. Uh, Ashton. Who was in 
inspired by at least the topography of Newquay, Cardiganshire, to create the fictional village of <coughs> Richardson. Clough Williams, Ellis. Minus one. Welcome to the real world. <laughs> Uh, we have got another press, I believe. Let me just get that back in place. Preston? It's uh, w w Clough Willis something, isn't it? No, it's Sorry. not. It's not. It's uh, I'm going to have to kind of yeah. name you on this one as well. Uh, you... Clive? Uh, Dylan Thomas. It's two points. Uh, the particular village of Larry Gull. Dylan Thomas and everybody knew that, apart from me. Uh, Clive, let's get you there. What's the word of all Christened Leslie Ronald, whose last three UK chart entries were <coughs> Wamsley, Billy Ocean. I'm afraid not. Why did this one for Tony? Christened Leslie Ronald, whose last three UK chart entries were Moore, which got to number four in 1956, Round and Round, which got to number 30 in 1957, and Miss You, number 15 in 1963. <coughs> Laycock. Carl Martino. No, but I'm gonna I'm gonna let you back in there because I'm gonna put another couple of three as well. Then. Hey, because <laughs> <laughs> he waited till I finished. He had two number ones: the man from Laramie, Jimmy Young. Jimmy Young, Jimmy Young is yeah. correct. Uh, sorry, I had to add to that, but I don't you, like you have finished the question. No, I finished the sure. question for you. What is the fourth largest of the British Isles and the largest of the Inner Hebrides? <laughs> Tell me, one for more. Not one, but no, not the way. Laycock. Lewis and Harris. Uh, Rhodes. Sky. Sky is correct. Mm -hmm. Get in, Stephen. What ten letter word can be spelled using only the top row of a typewriter, specifically the keys of positions? Five. <coughs> Chris. Typewriter. <laughs> Time back is the only one which can be spelled like that with ten letters. So, Chris, I think you might be in the joint lead here. <laughs> A set of 20 stories collectively known as Les Rouges en Macart, I hope I pronounced that right, about a family under the Second Empire published in the second half of the 19th century comprised over half of which French author's novels? Rose. Victor Hugo. I'm afraid it wasn't Victor Hugo, but that was a reasonable Chris guess. Hugo. Michael. Dumas. Uh, Dumas. Not Dumas. Laycock. Molière. Not Molière. Look at Clive here. Oh, Come on, free Ashton. Zola. Zola is the correct answer. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> Emil Zola. <clears throat> uh, also a film, I believe. <laughs> Clive, should you have got that? Well, I was only reading one the other way. <laughs> <laughs> so couldn't remember it. We'll talk about highbrow versus lowbrow later. Which extraordinarily common items is William Young of Pennsylvania credited with a reinvention of around Ashton? Zips. Not zips, and I'm going to dock you a point there, I'm afraid, mate. So say goodbye to your ass here. Um, which extraordinary common items is William Young of Pennsylvania credited with the reinvention of around 1822? Lake Paper Yeah. No. I might kind of zip this one out. It is shoes. He invented the left and right shoe. Everybody wore the same kind of shoes prior to his reinvention of them. So, oh, another very tough one. Don't press him here. I shouldn't really say that, but just don't. With a strong correlation to the size of the neocortex in apes, what does Dunbar's number predict or reflect the size of? Ha! This will keep me near the top of the table of the buzzers. Yes. Does everyone want to go to one of them? IQ. Uh, Michael. That's going to say IQ. Preston. <laughs> Richardson. Head. No, it's a, I'm going to go, uh, you're not going to get, it's the size of social groups. So the larger your, your neocortex, the larger the social group you live in. We have social groups of about 149, 150. If you look on your phone, you'll find 150 numbers you use a lot there. We're all, we're all apes. A bit large. Mm -hmm. So no points there, and uh, good for me. Hmm. 
What title is shared by major song numbers? You can buzz on this if you like over there. Uh, major song numbers in both West Side Story and The Sound of Music. Michael. Tonight? Not tonight. It's Ashton. I was going to say, um, Richardson. Maria? It's correct. Oh, it's correct. not called How Do You Solve the Problem, Matt, really. It's just called Maria. Just met a girl called Maria. Was that finishing it all the way through? No. 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 Oh, okay, let's give Tony two points there. Is that your first two points today? It is, yeah. Deserves a round of applause. <laughs> Which Palestinian city Sacked by the Samaritans in 529, I presume that's uh, AD, but rebuilt by Byzantine Emperor Justinian I, currently with a population of about 25,000, was, according to the Old Testament, the birthplace of King David. <coughs> Walmsley! <laughs> it's correct. It's only Walmsley. Great answer. Serac, Taleggio, and Asiago, or Asiago, are types of what food? Five. Cheese. Correct. Question 12, uh, 13. Uh, what's 12 into 240? 20. 20 questions each. My boomerang won't come back. <laughs> Walmsley. Oh, he's going on one of those rolls again. <laughs> and the cover of Splish Splash were amongst the most comedians hit singles. If he'd have been alive today, he'd have been in serious trouble, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Book one of the Iliad. Reset the cup. Thank you. Tiny swerve in here. Book one of the Iliad recounts a quarrel between Achilles swerve over, and which other Greek leader over the Queen Briseis? Briseis? Briseis. Wamsley. Ajax. Nope. I have to be checking. Rhodes. <laughs> Michael. I remember. He's correct, Michael. <laughs> that good one to get. It's gone out to Has uh, Mark Wickham got here yet? <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to keep a clean sheet on the zips, I think. The Book of Kells resides in Ashford. Trinity College, Dublin. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Very more than a precise fact. I was going to say which European capital city is this. That's perfect. So, uh, Ashton, here we go. And the healthy score going up there. And you're in the lead on this round, and you're in the lead on the growth overall. Restart. Cersei Ronan plays Ellis Lacey, an Irish emigre to the United States in the 1950s. <laughs> Clive. Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Yeah, you know, she, a few people I'm sure wanted to have a go at that. She's delightful to watch, isn't she? Uh, shut up, Steve. Just get on with putting the scars down. Who got that? Clive. Which Yorkshire band's albums include The Goodwill Out? <laughs> Oh, Steve Rhodes by fifth of a second. Yes, one of your local teams, yeah. isn't it? Uh, Steve Rhodes, great answer, mate. <laughs> Question 18. Not Bob Hoskins. What do the Duke of Clarence, Boatswain Smee, Robert Cecil, the first Earl of Salisbury, Carl Rove, Alfred Hitchcock, Truman Capote, Laycock, Andy Hopkins, minus one. Yes, <laughs> oh, here we go, Richardson. Philip Seymour Hoffman. No, Michael. Toby Jones. Yes, you knew you were right there. Uh, Truman Capote, Captain Ma Mannering, and Dobby the House Elf got in common. So, can I deduct one from you, please, Mark? Did I, sh <laughs> did I shame you into pressing for that one? <laughs> Which European continental capital city is over 300 kilometres from the sea, yet never further than 475 kilometres from the sea in any of the four cardinal directions? Chris. 
Great answer. Well worked out. Madrid, yeah. How curious was that? Stop. Well, I found it curious. You probably found it completely anal. Chris Bean. And my last question today. Jamila. I'll spell that for you. D-J-A-M-I-L-E-H. La Lesienne and Don Rodrigue were all 19th century compositions by which Frenchman? <coughs> Walsley. Not Berlioz. Laycock. Debussy. Not Debussy. Richardson. Beasy. Well, you, can say, you can tell from the way I said not Berlioz that it was going to be Beasy, <laughs> couldn't you? That's it. Let's uh, just read the scores out and uh, uh, nobody lose lost any points there. Tony Richardson gets two. And at the end of the first round, Clive Dunning with a clean four out of four, eight points is in the lead. Let's round of applause there. Uh, covered in the intro, we'll stop these now and we'll do give them a restart in a minute, I think. Just to, to, to make sure that we're, we're getting those stuff. Go for memory with it, yeah. Okay, good luck everyone. Question one. Sporting venues. The original name of this football ground came from its first owners, Bentley's Brewery who named it after their pub, which faced the site. The pub was the old peacock. And so no, Richardson! I'm a drone. Get in. Oh, oh no. No. <laughs> Bitch, by a tenth of a second. you said, don't you lose? Yeah. Oh. This is great. I'd swear to be going off of that. Okay. Question two, food. In Indian cuisine, which vegetable is known as brindle? Richardson! Aubergine. Oh, it's like it is. Good Brian. Question three, TV. In the TV show, The Big Bang Theory, which character is played by Kevin Sussman? <laughs> Raj. No. Uh, I'm nowhere near finished. Oh, that's one then. I'm pressed. I'm pressed. I'm pressed. Hey, Chris. Uh, Walwitz. No. Any other? Uh, yeah, we've got Walmsley. Sheldon. No. I thought I'd finished the question. Right, carry on. Okay. He was finally promoted as series regular in season six. Sussman also played Walter in the ABC series, Ugly Betty. The character in question runs the comic book store where the main characters spend a lot of their time. End of question. Yeah, it's it. Okay. He's called Stuart. They go every Wednesday, don't they? Right. Question four, politics. She had a tricky time recently with the NASUWT. Ashton and Preston together. Which of the answers the person next to Nicky Morgan? Nicky Morgan. Morgan. Yeah. One point each. You see what happened there, folks? Uh, so, Ashton, you get one point. And Preston. Go on. Question five, currency. Two countries use the manat as their currency. Name either. Uh, Burkina Faso. Five. Azerbaijan. Well done. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that was a guess. Well, I, I, mean, <laughs> I was watching Tony on the University of Chelsea. <laughs> No. No. <laughs> Sorry, you me, sir? Just out of interest, for the record, the Azerbaijan in Manat looks very similar to a Euro banknote as they were both designed by the same person, Austria, Austrian Robert Kalina. So there you go. Well, you become, Thank you for spending that with us. Uh, yeah, the other one is uh, Turkmenistan. <clears throat> Question six. Occupations. A regional occupational surname 
What would have been the original occupation of someone who had the surname Bender? Uh, gate making. Right. <laughs> Does that mean it? Lake or barrel maker? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lake or gate. Two parts. Okay. Question seven is on film. At the 2016 Academy Awards, who won the best supporting actor? It was a Alicia Vikander. It was for her role in the Danish Girl. Uh, that's how you play it, by the way. You look at it. That's not how you play. I'm the only person allowed to play like that. <laughs> Question eight: Geography. The equator passes through 13 countries, six of which are on mainland Africa. Which is the most westerly of these mainland African countries? Its second largest city in terms of population is Port Gentil, and its capital city is Libreville. Uh, Mozambique. No. <laughs> no. Western. Uh, go on, it, it's uh, Ashton. Gabon? Gabon, yeah. Oh, I'm looking over there, you idiot. Uh, Ashton, two points. Okay. Question nine, nicknames. Which Australian city has been known as the City of Churches? Ashton. Adelaide. Yeah. Good. Answer. Ashton's back. <laughs> <laughs> Question 10 is on literature. What's the name of the last book written by Terry Pratchett before his death in 2015? Probably your first gas. Uh, Chris. Discworld? No. Lake of? A spark of the screen. Nobody else? No, no it was called The Shepherd's Crown. Yeah. Question 11 is on sport. Who won the first MotoGP race of the season at Qatar in Latin? Uh, I don't know who that is. <laughs> I hope it's Stevie Rhodes. It's Stevie Rhodes. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Davizioso. No. Uh, Stevie Rhodes. Stevie Rhodes. Yeah. Question finished. I know I haven't finished the question. <laughs> <laughs> Any more presses? No, is that it? Just let me get it. No. Uh, Clive. Rosberg. Go on. Okay. Um, in March of this year, born in the Balearic Islands in 1987, he currently rides for Yamaha along with Valentino Rossi. That's the So not Marquez. Uh, Longley. Vinci. Michael. I went too early. He knows it. I know he knows Is it. Lorenzo. It's Lorenzo. Great yeah. answer, Mark. Yeah. Question 12, US history. Which of the US Ivy League universities was founded the most recently in 1865? I'll go for Princeton. No. Lakeup. Brown. No. Richardson. Harvard. No. Preston. No. Uh, uh, my answer, Brown, Catherine. Yeah. Clive. Pennsylvania. No. Question's what? not finished yet, I think. What? It's not finished? No. I didn't think you were finished. No. Right, hang on a minute. Oh, no. <laughs> Kid, Laycock, <laughs> Richardson, <laughs> keep that away from me. <laughs> Preston, <laughs> Clive. <laughs> keep your eyes on these scores going up because uh, I can't find Clive. There we go. So we have a few warms like Columbia. Oh right, go on, tell me. Columbia. No. <laughs> <laughs> Question's still not finished. That's still not finished. Go on. The first was Harvard in 1636, followed by Yale, Princeton, Columbia, Brown, and Dartmouth College. So there's one left. Yes, so we're going to ask the top of the Michael. Cornell. Yeah, yeah. yeah go on, Cornell. <laughs> Question 13, science, looking for a chemical element. 
a synthetic transition metal. It belongs to the transuranic group of elements. It was the first element to be named after a living person. Lake up. Ah! 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 No. Uh, uh, right, let me just take these off. I told you to keep that away from you. I didn't kill for you. Michael. Seabogium? Yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 you bailed a few people out there, I think. You no, know. I, 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 <laughs> Uh, next, go. Okay, question 14 is on music. So I'm looking for a singer. He was born in New York in 1962, but he's now recording under a different name to that. Rose. Wow, I had so much more information. Wow, wow. what an <laughs> answer of the day so far, Rose. Well, answer, I wish you one. Yeah. Okay. Question 15 is on siblings. The Proclaimers featured Scottish brothers Craig and Charlie Reed. But which band? <laughs> War a Rose. Jesus and Mary Jane. <sighs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Scottish brothers Jim and William Reed. You are a proper old age. Okay. Go. 16 to the spark question. Who are Vinicius and Tom? They are both named after musicians, Vinicius de Mores and Tom Jobin. They first appeared... Oh, Clive. Oh, cool. uh, are they the mascots for the World Cup? No. <laughs> <laughs> Something cool. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were right. Go on, then. Okay. Uh, uh, they first appeared in November 2014 when neither of them had a name and they became Vinicius and Tom after a public vote. When the Games of the 31st Olympiad begin in August 2016, their names may become much more familiar. Rose. Olympic mascots. Yeah, we're all is that Rhodes again? I was expecting a twist. That's a hat trick. I I Go on. Question 17, nature. In fact, look at it. Did you have a hat trick? Yeah. Great hat trick. Really? Best look at it over the terrestrial down Yeah, well, he said it. I was reading about that. Quite recently, isn't it? Yeah. He says. Somebody check his playlist. Question 17 is on nature. Which animals, with approximately 15,000 species, make up the phylum Porifera? The word Porifera means paw bearer. They are multicellular organisms that have bodies full of pores. Five sponges. Okay. Question 18, politics. Roy Jenkins, Tony Benn, Bobby Sands and Bernadette Devlin have all been holders of which unofficial... <laughs> the baby in the head. Did it Go on, okay. Yeah. Question 19, children's literature. Horrible histories make up a series of illustrated history books designed to engage children in the topic by presenting the unusual, the gory... Lake up. Terry Deary. No. <laughs> <laughs> you just couldn't resist the town, mate, couldn't you? You had to come and see so that one. It's so always asking the press to answer that. Go on. Uh, the unusual, the gory and the downright unpleasant in a humorous, tongue-in-cheek style, they were predominantly written by Terry Deary. The first titles in the series were published in 1993 and were called The Terrible Tudors and The Awesome Egyptians. From this original list of 23 titles, by what adjective do we know the Celts? Uh, cruel? Rose? Crazy. No? Uh, uh, Rose? Uh, like Michael? Creepy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Preston? Cunning. No. 
I have to say that, yeah. Flips. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Keep going, everybody. Come on. Bail them out, go on. Okay. They were the cut throat Celts. Right. Well, you Nobody get apart from Mark. Only like that falling. I mean, if you could check out Mark, if you can't see, he's got three minus ones in a row. I'm having so much fun, it's untrue. <laughs> Let's go. Question 20 I'm looking for a TV programme. It first aired in 1994 on Channel 4. And it ran to 2014 over 20 series. It features an ever-changing lineup of regulars, but has had the same presenter since the outset. Each episode is filmed over three days. There was an American version of the show, which ran for two series and premiered in 2009. Some of the regulars on the show have included John Gator, Stuart Ainsworth, Helen Geek, Raksha Dave. Laycock. Scrappy challenge. Bless <laughs> them. Coach trip. Uh, so this minus one for Mark Laycock. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. You're a real rolling. <laughs> 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 uh, go on. Okay. Uh, Mick Aston and Phil Harding. The show's presenter was Tony Robinson. Uh, five. Time to. Time yeah. to. <laughs> It's so long since we've had one of those. Right, what number are we on? That's then? it, that's 20. Did everybody yeah, crack yeah. on? Good set, yes. Did everybody crack on? We've got a couple of questions. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we've got uh, Tony Richardson. I'll turn this So way. let me I'm put your uh, stuff on. Keep it out of the cameras, make sure none of them go dead, and we uh, should be good to go. Uh, check your scores up there, they look about right to me. My score looks okay, I don't know about yours. Okay, Tony. Yeah. Okay, uh, question one. Its forerunner can be traced to a school magazine titled The Subopian. Uh, Private Eye. That's correct. Tony, could you just move in just a bit? Yeah, sure. I want to make sure you're on that. Okay, no, just make sure. Yeah, uh, make yeah. sure you're on that. Yeah. Uh, so, that was a bit lucky, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, that's how you get them, though, Matt. Wake up. <laughs> 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 okay. Yep. At the close of the 20th century, this was the largest city in the USA founded in that century. It grew from a population of 22 in 1901 to almost half a million by 2000. The city saw the murder of Tupac Shakur in 1996. Oh my goodness, Preston. Chris, sorry, no, Chris, no, Chris, Chris, Chris. Uh, Las Vegas. Las Vegas is yeah. correct. Oh, that's a great question. <laughs> okay. The last man to score a penalty in an FA Cup final before the match moved to Wembley Stadium in 1923 has the same name as a well-known chain store. The first chain store in the world and the creator of the ISBN book classification system. Ashton. Dewey. True. Dewey? No. Uh, minus one, I presume. Okay. Uh, Dev. John Lewis? No. Nope. I was thinking that too. Go on. The chain currently has over 1,300 stores located on almost every high street and mainline railway station in the UK. Kid. W.H. Smith? Yes, Mr. Yes. Yes. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. Chris, what were you going to say? We get one point each. If you see the scores, are thought to one point nine nine each. So, uh, there I go, admitting to it. I could easily glossed over that yeah, one. Yeah, you time in safe for me. Are you happy with that, Chris? Yeah, yeah well. Student inquiry. <laughs> okay. Bad word, man. Which right. city's university, founded in 1290, is one of the oldest in the world? <laughs> Preston. Bologna? No. Oh. It's a uh, minus one for you, Mark. Sorry. And um, Norman. I was going to say Bologna on my life. Say something else, will you? Milan. Go. Go. <laughs> right. Carry on. The city was the capital of Portugal. <laughs> Lake of Salamanca. No. Uh, me, kid. 
Estoril. No. Uh, Mike Lake got minus one again. Wrong one. Kid minus one. Ashton. Coimber. Coimber is correct. Oh, I'll put on to Ashton. Coimber. Hey, Doncaster. Carry on. Opened in 1825, the Stockton and Darlington Railway was part financed by the Peace family. Their financial backing led to the railway being nicknamed after which Christian religious group? The same. Warm, so tell me after the Quakers. Quakers is correct. I just think my two skills. Same way, I thought it was right, but I thought it was not. Very tetchy yeah. buzzing going on here, isn't there? <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Born in Stockton in 1956, this solo singer-songwriter... Please be Chris Lear. No. Oh, damn! Oh, <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Minus one. I do apologize. Uh, Norman. Sorry, Sam and Joe. Rose. Now I was going for Chris Lear. <laughs> questions are all to hell, isn't it? It is. Ooh, I'm gonna have to go on. The solo singer songwriter had his biggest UK hit in 1990 with a song re released largely due to its prominence in the David Lynch film Wild at Heart. In 2015, he became a judge on the Australian version of X Factor. Name this American singer. Laker. Chris Isaac. Chris Isaac is correct. Stockton. 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 Stockton, California. What a wicked oh, wicked oh, 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 wicked great, great, great. <laughs> <laughs> what a wicked story. He's not born in the book. He's not born in the book. from Stockton as well as Leslie Duncan, but she's well before that. Chris Wilson. Go on. A carnivorous mammal of the family Canidae, which animal has species including Darwin's and Fennec, as well as the red? Kid, fox, big. Correct. <laughs> Sorry, Norm. <laughs> I think, yeah, Fennec was a bit late there as well. <coughs> yeah. Sharing its name with a 1993 Steven Soderbergh film, which Fox Network cartoon series ran for 13 years, and was set in Arlen, Texas, telling the story... It's Ashton. King of the Hill. King of the Hill's correct. What seven-letter word links a Birmingham rock group whose last album was 1994's Far From Home, a 2000 film set in Mexico and the USA for which Benicio Del Toro won Best Supporting Actor, and describes the movement... <laughs> Call uh, Norman. Traffic. Traffic is correct. Well done. Oh, oh, Norman! Norman. There you go, they're very useful to get those. <laughs> go on. Claimed to be the world's busiest road bridge, the George Washington Bridge carries traffic across which... <laughs> Norman! Hudson is correct. Norman? <laughs> Check this out. You're happy now? Very happy. Born in Omaha in 1913. <laughs> wow, Ashton. I'm going to say Warren Buffet, I think. No. <clears throat> that was 1914. No. Oh, sorry, let me just get up that field, please. And make that a uh, minus one, sorry. That's better. Okay. Okay. Born in Omaha in 1913, he was to become number 38 in an ongoing sequence ah! of films. Norman. Ronald Reagan. No. Uh, let me just do that. Uh, Preston. Ford. Correct. Oh, yeah. That's great. That's a match. <coughs> Described by Rossetti as a glorious luminary and voted number 38 in the BBC's 100 Greatest Britons, which romantic poet and artist died in 1827? He is perhaps best known for Jerusalem. It's Clive Blake. Correct. Uh, closely followed, uh, less than 0.39 of a second by everybody. Clive, <laughs> 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 so, can I give you points there, please? Sorry about that. There you go, you've got some points off him. Go on. Released in February 1977, the opening track of which album is second hand news? Rumours. Rumours is correct.
Go on. Born in Carlisle in 1938 and married to fellow writer Hunter Davies. Bless them. Melvin Bragg. No. Minus one for Mark. Just uh, one moment, please. Uh, where are you? Ashton. No, I can't remember her name. Longsley. Martin Foster. It's not the answer from Austin. Isn't it? I'm finished the question. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Margaret Foster, who died in February this year, is most famous for which 1965 novel? Later adapted into a film starring James Mason and Lynn Redgrave. Yeah. It's got to be Clive. Georgie Gill. Georgie Gill, yeah. yeah. correct. That was a brilliant answer. That I got. <laughs> <laughs> Clive, you've gone from the zero to hero in this particular round. Six points, you're in the lead. On this round. Yep. Yeah. One of a select number of food products with an EU protected so, designation status. Okay. So, can you start again, please? Yep. Yeah. One of a select number of food products with an EU protected designation status. Which cheese is made from sheep's milk? <coughs> no, no. Not for. No. Well, I'm putting your scar Can you stick it like a stink, please? Go on, take me back to zero. Chris. Better. Better is correct. Oh, Chris. <laughs> Chris is looking fairly neat on five points. By ICC ratings, he is cricket's greatest one-day international all-rounder. Still the youngest player to take 300 test wickets. Rose. In love. No. Where are you? Go on. And in 184 test innings, he was never run out. For five years in the 1990s, he held the record for most test wickets after breaking Richard Hadley's record. Born in Chandigarh in East Punjab, which cricketer? Laycock. Morrison. No. I've given you two points, let me just give you a man as well, sorry about that. Uh, Michael. Uh, Wazim Akra. No. no. Ah. Debs. Tendulkar. No. Uh, which cricketer was inducted into his Sports Hall of Fame in 2010? Ah! Chris. Cinema. Uh, no loss. Norman. Go. Born in Florence, he was a writer of carnival songs and poetry, as well as holding senior office in the court of Alexander Borgia. Who is most famous for the 1513 political work? Oh, what was it? 1513 political work. Um, <laughs> Samuel Warner. No, it's not. Ah. No. Michael. Machiavelli. Machiavelli's correct. That's the fact he was named there. Uh, he did. How many to go? Uh, three to go. Controversially withdrawn from the 2016 Tribeca Film Festival, Vaxed. Is a documentary dealing with the links between uh, Clive <laughs> MMR. MMR is correct. Oh, well, 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 I'll get as far as Eric Morgan. <laughs> and Looking for a two-word phrase. A phrase coined by American writer O. Henry. What two-word term? Oh, Banana Clive! Banana Republic. Banana Republic is here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Clive. Wow. Well, Clive. What a great hat trick at the end. And the good set. Well done. They were excellent, yes? Good sets all around so far. You better fly the flag. Okay, let's turn those cameras off and take five.